Alright, so it's currently 4.45 a.m. where I live right now, and, um... <sighs> Sega may have just trolled the entire internet! <laughs> oh, kill me now. So, if you don't already know, I made a video a while back, because a journalist hyped up this Sega news because their 60th anniversary is on the 3rd of June 2020, aka today, and they said in quotes it was REVOLUTIONARY and I quote, will rile up the games industry. Very big quotes that I discussed in the previous video. Now everyone was speculating on what it was going to be. We all thought it was gonna be, they said it was not Dreamcast 2. So people start to think, is it a new system entirely? Is it a deal with Microsoft? Which apparently a leak a few days ago said that it's not a Microsoft deal whatsoever. So everyone was there thinking, is it a mini console? A mini console sounds like it would be a bit overhyped. Like if they just drop a Dreamcast mini, like. I'll cop that shit, don't get it twisted, but it's a bit overhyped to say it's revolutionary and will rile up the games industry. And guess what just happened? <laughs> oh no. Famitsu, the magazine where the reveal was supposed to happen, tweets this. Once translated, it says, Game Gear Micro suddenly announced at the 60th anniversary of Sega, handheld game console with color LCD revived in the palm of your hand for over 30 years. We'll, we'll, we'll get we'll get let's just go to the full link so bear in mind this article is google translated so it's gonna be not perfect translation but it says established on june 3rd 1960 sega announces a new hard drive on the day of its 60th anniversary that is game gear micro so i guess hard drives console is bad translation this is a miniaturized version of the game gear portable game console that was released by sega on october 6 1990 30 years ago speaking of sega's miniaturized game consoles and then they plug the mega drive mini which came out last year which i actually bought one in the dialogue ceo suddenly announced game gear micro while touching on the possibility of new sega hardware and sega contents in the future along with sega's past in addition, it is only revealed that the Game Gear has become a palm size. The screen that seems to be Sonic the Hedgehog appears on a miniature screen. They're talking about what's in the image. The details will be released today, June 3rd at 1 p.m. at the same time reservations will start. I'm guessing they mean pre-orders. Now, 1 p.m. is 5 a.m. where I live, which is why I mentioned the time when I started recording. So we're gonna check out these reveals in a minute. But this is absolutely fucking ridiculous. This is stupid. Like. This is actually stupid. This is stupid. Like, are you serious? The reason why people like mini consoles, the reason why the consoles were mini in the first place is because hardware had advanced to a point where you didn't have to have, you know, a PlayStation that was the same size, you know, when they dropped the PlayStation Mini because they could just fit everything in a smaller chassis and still have it look similar to the original. Same with the Mega Drive Mini, same with the Super Nintendo Mini, same with the NES Mini. You didn't need it to be as big, so we made it smaller. This is a handheld. It is already designed to fit perfectly in your hand. Why in the fuck would you take a handheld and make it smaller to fit in the po who the fuck is gonna play this like babies will not play this shit trump will not play with this shit i mean whose idea was this like oh it comes in multiple colors though it comes in multiple colors though but something that small you think there'll be a key ring attachment so you could just have it around there like buy it as a novelty apparently it's gonna be like around 50 bucks based on the translation of currency so i mean i guess you could just if you're a hardcore sega fan buy one put it on your key and just Look, I've got a functional game gear on my key ring, like, a little novelty thing. But, like, actually playing this? Like, no. Like, who the fuck is gonna sit there and, like, try and play... What the fuck was even on this fucking system? Fuck with the top 10 game gear games. I don't play this fucking system anyway. What the fuck is this? The f the f what the fuck? Okay, this, this was on, like, Sonic Mega Collection, so I played this. There was quite a few Sonic games on game gear, but it was, like... There was like the Sonic 1 Game Gear, Sonic 2, there was like Chaos, Triple Trouble, Blast, which was absolutely fucking shit. No one needs to play Sonic Blast. Like, is that a Prince of Persia? Ooh, that looks cool. Isn't that the one that I played on Nokia phone? They ported this multiple times, actually. Um, but th uh, what the fuck is on this system? There's literally only 366 games on the entire motherfucking thing. They got FIFA on this shit. They got FIFA on it? <laughs> 
You've got to be absolutely fucking shitting me. Is this what we're going to be playing like this? Like, yeah, you know what? It is true. The news is revolutionary. It's revolutionary in that it's probably the smallest, you know, handheld gaming device. That's probably why it's revolutionary. And you know what? It did in fact rile up the games industry because to rile up means to annoy or bother people. And people are bothered about this information. I mean, Sega is fucking trending for Pete's sake. Because of this bullshit, everyone's just like, what the fuck were you thinking, Sega? Okay, so it's currently 7 past 5, aka 1pm in Japan, and we're supposed to get this new info, and we'll see some new tweets by them in exactly 7 minutes. We've got two tweets here. I'm assuming they're going to give us the lowdown on which games we're going to get. We've got the four different colors, we've got all these characters here. We got a link and we got four images on this other tweet and they're comparing the mini version to the main version. So these two tweets think to two different articles. So we're going to quickly go through this one and then we we'll check out the other one. But we've got some higher resolution images of the micro and they're basically giving us more information. It's a micro size of approximately 80% width, a little less than 40% of the original Game Gear, which is fucking stupid. And they're basically confirming that, yes, you can play with it. It also has an interrupt save function. Is that like bad Google Translate for like a save state? Like interrupt save function? Probably. It runs on AAA batteries and USB cable can charge it as well. Or well, maybe it, I don't know if it charges it, but you can use the USB cable to play it. Oh, would you look at this? <laughs> so you only get four games per each color. So if you get this one, you get Sonic the Hedgehog, Puyo Puyotsu, Outrun, Royal Stone. I don't know of all these games, so if it's bad Google Translate, I'm probably butchering these game names. You get four games on the black one. On the blue one, you get another four games. Gunstar Heroes, Sylvia and Tail. You get Sonic and Tails. So that's, isn't that Sonic Chaos? Yeah, it's the same title screen. So I'm guessing in Japan, the name is probably different or something. And then the yellow version comes with no Sonic and it comes with Shining Force Guide on one, two, and Final Conflict, which is probably three. And then some other random shit. And the red one comes with Megami Tensei Tensei and then Shinobi in columns. You don't even get all the games on the thing. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck is this? This product will only be sold at three EC sites, Amazon.co.jp. A big window micro is a privilege that allows you to enlarge and see. Wait, so you mean to tell me that they're charging you for a Game Gear micro and then they're charging you extra money? to enlarge the screen to regular viewing levels. Are you fucking serious, Sega? You can't be fucking serious. You cannot be serious. Are you serious right now? Oh, they got a trailer, let's check it out. We show you the regular one, how it should look. And then they shrink it. Mm. They don't fuck watching this shit. The other article is an interview where I guess they talk about the thing. I, I, I cannot be fucked to read this. Now, to be fair to the other side, there are some people that believe that this is not the actual big news. That it was just a pre, like a warm up, like a starter. You know, because they did say it was going to be in the Famitsu magazine on the 4th of June and Japan is eight hours ahead of the UK. So the 4th of June won't hit until 4 p.m. on the 3rd of June UK, which is currently about 5 a.m. So they're saying this might not be it and they have some reason to believe that it might not be it. So this Nintendo Life article says Sega's Game Game Micro might not be the revolutionary scoop for Mitsu has been teasing. It's a big announcement on the way. And according to Dr. Serkin Toto of Kantan Games, this micro size reveal might not necessarily be the big news concerning Sega. And he talks about how the device will probably be about $50 or 50 euros. And then he says, this is probably not the scoop that was teased for this week's Famitsu. They reported it first, but in a news article, not the column of the journal in question, where the huge scoop is expected to drop. All right, editors know it has been confirmed that the Game Boy Micro is not the revolutionary news because something called Fog Gaming from Sega has leaked from the upcoming Famitsu. Details are incredibly limited, but they'll be updated later. So I'll probably wait for the full thing to be revealed before I do a separate video on that. But yeah, the Game Boy Micro is not it. That doesn't change the fact that it's shit. Like, I'm, the rant is still valid, but you know, let's keep watching. Another reason why some people are a bit iffy on whether this is the real thing or not is because this article came out 
how many hours ago? I don't even remember. But it came out recently, and it says Sega's patented touchscreen controls, which sounds stupid because how the fuck would you be patenting touchscreen controls? Like everyone does that shit now. Like are you gonna what, sue iPhone? Like, what, what? but it says it's Sega recently patented touchscreen controls for games. There was some new info related to Sega coming on for Mitsu, but the patent states that a controller that generates a game image of an object disposed of in a virtual game space. A touch panel connected to the controller and that displays the game image, the text, and uses imp uses touch operation on the game image and outputs to the controller a detection signal indicating the detection of the input, wherein the controller determines a contact surface area at an indicated position on the touch panel indicated by the user's touch operation based on the direction signal. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. But if this is the pattern, first of all, this is bigger than the micro. It looks more like a, a fucking smartphone to start and whatever they're describing i don't know what that is but maybe this is the revolutionary thing that's gonna rile us all up so sega could be creating a handheld console they are entering the video game streaming industry like something similar to stadia maybe a handheld device that stream streams all their games i don't know maybe they're just creating a mobile port for one of their games but that's not on ps5 real event level and they got it's the same image again but yeah everything's all up in the air right now like i don't even know what to say about all of this like either way this is a pretty big troll from sega the way they kind of release this information you know look for the record i would have been fine if it was a dreamcast mini okay like i would have been fine this is not even practical it's uh if they just made it a regular size game game mini and put more than four games on each version I would have been fine with it, you know? Oh, God, just make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for more content coming soon to the channel. Speaking of Sega fucking up, I did a video um, just recently reacting to the Sega Activator, which if you've heard of the Nintendo Wii or you've heard of Kinect, this is basically Sega doing that back in 1993 and it flopping colossally. It flopped so badly that I cannot find one on eBay to even buy second hand. It's like, it's they, after a few months, it'll discontinued. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, it's your boy, Rem Remulus Rem Gang. Fuck this shit, I'm out.